Oh, these shirts by Waka Maria look really nice, aren't they? You seen these? Uh, what are these? Waka Maria, uh, Waka Maria and Tim Leahy uh, channel uh, conditional Japanese art in a new collaboration. This it looks fucking awesome. Waka Maria, man, leg legendary Japanese brand, a brand that I fucking that I actually came across when I was interning at Twelve Bar back in the day when I was like eighteen. That was like my first sort of introduction to the whole streetwear world and stuff. And um, I uh, was put onto Twelve Bar. I saw I was put onto Waka Maria through. I'm gonna say through the guy from Garb Garb. Garb store, um, Ian something, whatever his name is, right? He put me onto that too. Uh, that and Sasquatch Fabrics and shit. He's the one that told me about these kind of brands. Um, this looks fucking awesome, man. Wow, I love these shirts. They, they're gonna be so again. I think um, we saw a lot of these sort of pattern shirts, uh, floral, whatever they may be called, uh, in prior seasons, especially last season uh, during the fashion weeks. Loads of people, loads of the kind of influencer stuff were wearing them around, and I think we're gonna see more iterations coming out this summer, especially with some of the high street stores picking them up, especially some of the streetwear stores doing cut and sew collections. We're only gonna see more of these kind of proliferating through. So if you're fed up of uh, pattern shirts, you better get more fed up because you're gonna see them everywhere. And what's funny as well, because you know what's interesting, these are obviously done a little bit better. Quality quality than some of the shirts I've seen but um there when, when I went to Primavera three years ago I think there was a moment when we were in Primavera I think uh, yeah maybe three two years ago there was a moment when we were in there and I think me and my friend noticed like with this weird pattern where we kept seeing all these dudes wearing like cut off jean shorts right they'd wear cut off jean shorts uh some sort of sock that was like stacked down or pulled up white or whatever sort of color bust up vans or Reeboks or whatever kind of nondescript sort of like you know low top sneaker and then a floral shirt, like a vintage shirt, whether it was a short sleeve, long sleeve, rolled up. That was what everyone was wearing. It was the exact same uniform on every single person. And it was so freaky to see. Like, everyone was wearing the same sort of thing. Jean shorts, rolled up, or, like, uh, cut very short to leave the fraying down there. Uh, white socks, Vans old schools, and some shitty vintage shirt they got from, like, I don't know, Beyond Retro or something, right? And it was so weird to see. But then nowadays, you're seeing the same sort of trend happening with these floral shirts. And... Because it's come, it come back in trend there. And again, I think for the dudes, it's an easy way to kind of cheat on the festival outfit because you still get the kind of, you know, bit of pop on top with, you know, the pattern and the, and the floors and shit. And it's a bit loose, the material. You can sort of like have it loosely buttoned up. Maybe have a few buttons undone. You can wear it with trousers, wear it with jeans. And, it, you know, and it works, you know, at night. It works well during the day. You're going to see them a lot again this season. It's just not going to stop. I think these shirts are turning into like, the man's version, the male version of a bomber jacket. There was a there was a period where I was getting fed up of seeing bomber jackets everywhere. I think maybe that was when I was, yeah, I was just getting fed up of seeing it. Right, like you know, a design like Kim Jones. I don't think there's ever been every. I don't think there's ever been a collection of Kim Jones where he hasn't done a version of a bomber jacket. I think it's one of his favorite silhouettes. And I used to get really annoyed. It's always do fucking bomber jackets. Do something else. Do something more interesting. Or like APC, right? They always have a bomber jacket in their collection. But then when you have a bomber jacket in your wardrobe. And you always keep wearing it. You start to realize why they're so important. And it's literally a staple. It's like in the same vein as a trench coat, right? Uh, or a biker jacket or a pair of uh, light blue jeans. It's like you just need one in your wardrobe. That's simply it. And I think these floral shirts, even even though I hate them and they're very trendy and they're going to, you know, they're going to come and go. And because they're going to be really bad imitations of them coming up in the next few seasons. Not this Waka Maria sort of stuff, but we're going to see loads of really bad copies of these sort of uh, floral shirts. We're not going to stop seeing them. I just think you have to accept it. They're going, to, they're going to keep coming again and again and again. Especially, like, come on, stuff like that. These kind of shorts, like, you know, it's a no-brainer for a dude, man. If you're going to go to a festival, go to a holiday, there's not many options that you can, you know, put on. You know, there's not many options out there if you just have zany outfits without looking like a, like a dullard. So these are the easiest way to do it with these sort of florals and these sort of easy patterns. So yeah, great collection there by Waka Maria. Recommend you check it out. Um, does the same one is kind of come out? Uh, should be out on the twenty seventh. Um, again, contact your local Waka Maria retailer to find out more.